You know, I don't think I'll ever be done monkeying around with my movie making rigging. Here's my latest creation, my latest monstrosity. That is a 19 inch flat screen Toshiba. A light up there. Mounted on an old coat rack, hat rack, something that was left behind. Painted it up, sanded it up, painted it up, made it black. Everything's black. Discovered that I sometimes need to move the monitor to different locations depending on what type of video I'm shooting. Uh, permanently mounting it on the wall kind of limits its usefulness. So I put it on this stand. But I like this little Toshiba because it's got all these inputs. And it's two HDMI, two composite, two component, one on the back and one component on the side here. S video for the Sony Handycam that I use, VGA for a computer, plus it's got audio in, digital audio, and audio out. Plus, you know, it's even a TV, even. <laughs> Plug it into a cable, cable box or something. Well, what I did, I took a block of wood here, a couple of U-bolts, bolt of that board to the pole, and then I mounted the uh, wall mount to the board. It works. I found the longest extension cord I could find in black. Everything's black. And I just tied it to the pole. Electrical tape. You can hardly see it. All the way over there. I like long cords on things because <laughs> I like long cords on things. I hate cords that come up short. I'd rather have too much than not enough. The way I want to use this device is you know you stand facing it so you can see what's on it and up top here with a diffuser or maybe a slightly brighter light I can uh, light up my face <laughs> hide the uh, bags under my eyes picked it up at the pawn shop $34 decent shape decent picture no remote which sucks, but I can still change inputs on the side here. There's a button for that. Takes a bit of fiddling, but I can get it. The only computer, well, I've used it as a computer monitor, and I have a little netbook, and it's plugged into HDMI. It just the resolution is, <laughs> I don't know what the heck's going on with that, so. I have to plug it in through VGA. I haven't tried another computer. I'm not quite sure of the resolution of this TV, if it's 480, 720. I doubt very much it's 1080. It might be 480. But it gets the job done. Uh, it's an excellent monitor for the uh, Sony Handycam. Plus having light up there, it frees up space in my work area for uh, having to have a light stand. I had an old torsier lamp with clamp lamps attached to it for additional lighting. But I've got it clamped up there now, so yeah, we'll see. My uh, studio is getting too small now for all the e <laughs> equipment that has to go in it. Oh well. Perhaps if it was just a dedicated studio. There you have it. My latest creation. Give it a roll. See what happens. See if I like it. See if I hate it.